A very good afternoon to my cherished viewers. My name is Barryman Idiyene, the Osa Barryman and Apple of Team 2AJ. Today I'm here to share with you a very short and brief message entitled Sin. Sin, eye adia, e di enkrofonya, bone, eye adia se se e koso, se se ye tu ye ni e de she, e wiasi, e ni ema e koso, tu mse ampa, bone adokono, ye man, e ni ye wiasi ya, ye omu yi se se yi, e ne e ma ne ma na e da, e merima, e ne merima, e nso na e da. Now, when I say sin, somebody will ask, what is the meaning of sin? Let me throw more light on sin. Sin simply means violation of god will that is a uti nyankopon ne mira na se na shade so atua na se de nyankopon e pe no uti so atua na won pese wo de be ye adwuma e no ana ye frere se bone na ma men kan be bi kakra emfa emfi e ye isaiah chapter 53 the verse number 1 at the air banner say who have believed our report and to whom is the arms of the lord revealed for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground he have no form nor calmliness and when we shall see him there is no beauty that we should desire him he is despised and rejected of men a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief and we hate us it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteem him not. Surely he have borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him strict, um, stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our Peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. All that I'm trying to tell you is that the Lord Jesus Christ came on earth to die to save for our sins. Now, let me tell you something. When God needed somebody, I mean, talking about the God the Father, when he needed somebody to send to the world to save the entire world, because the sin of the world um, ascended to God, and it became bountier in the presence of God to the sin that God needed somebody to save the world. God called the angelic host, there was a cabinet meeting in heaven. The cabinet meeting was that sin of man has reached into my presence. Sin of man has ascended to heaven. Now, man has become very wicked and man needs to be destroyed. Hallelujah. Man needs to be destroyed. And you know what's happened? God said that before man can be pardoned, there must be a flow of blood that is a sacrifice and the bible said that god told god foretold all that was going to happen in heaven all that was going to happen on earth when um, someone accepts to come on earth to die to save mankind the bible said that when all this thing was shown there was a total silence in heaven in fact no one talked because everybody was afflicted everybody was afraid everybody was saying that so this is what is going to happen if, if i accept to come in in a form of humanity so the bible said that there was a total silence but you know what there was one man by name jesus christ he stood up and said don't worry my father i am going on earth to die to save my kind the Bible said that Jesus came on earth to die to save mankind. That is one thing that Jesus Christ did. And you know what? Let me tell you this. The most humble thing a man will ever do is that a king, a king will help in a communal labor. Right now, there will be a news if our president and Nana decide to help in a communal labor. Let me say that there is um there is a communal labor going on, and then Nana Dodankwa, His Excellency the President, comes and then hold a shovel to help. You know, um, what people are going to say, it will be a total news. Or for instance, if um Prince Charles of UK decide to help in a communal labor, in fact, um, there will be a news. It is a news. But you know what? There is a king, a prince, whose prince is above every prince. There is a king whose kingdom is above every kingdom on earth. He came, 
he left all that he was having and came on earth to die to save mankind. But you know what? Yet, we esteem not what he did. In fact, we esteem not what he did. We have taken it for granted. Because of the grace that we are having, because of the grace that we are enjoying, man is taking it for granted. That is why this Jehovah Pesla said, Boni amen peno na meye. This was a word said by Paul. I said, Boni amen peno eno ena meye. Papa amen peno eno diye min tu meye. But you know what? You can do good. If only you want to do good, you can do good. Just say to yourself that, I am going to do good and then indeed you will do good. Today, I am here to share with you just a short message. The message is very simple. Jesus Christ loves you. That is why he came on earth to die to save you. The Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but do what? Have everlasting life. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I don't believe that right now when um, the whole Ghana is going to be destroyed, and then there is a soul that we need to save the entire world or the entire Ghana, the entire nation. I don't believe that your mom will allow you, that you are watching me, to die to save us. No! Your mom will say that, let them be destroyed. Because you are not the only one in Ghana. You are not the only one on earth. But you know what? Those that were going to be destroyed, God was not part. Jesus was not part. Jesus was reigning in heaven. He's a prince. The Bible said that he had the same image, the same position with God Almighty. Yet he left it and came on earth to die to save us. That is a great thing that Jesus did. My brothers and my sisters, if only we are going to stop sinning, God is going to grace us. I know that. I know, I know that you can not tell me that, I know that you cannot say that you are going to live without a sin or what, but you know what, you can live without a sin. If only you determine, if only you determine, just be determined, be determined, see that you are going to live without a sin, you are going to live without a sin, you are not going to sin against God. What is making you to sin? What is actually making you to sin? Maybe you will see a girl and then always you last after the girl. But you know what? There is a remedy to that. There was a time that Job said something. That I made a covenant with my eye that I'm not going to look at things twice. It is about making a covenant. David said, I made, um, Job said, I made a covenant with my eye that I'm go not going to look at things in uh, two. Or I'm not going to look at things twice. The first look is always not a look. Maybe, maybe your problem is simple. Your problem is fornication. It is preventable. Just say to yourself that, I am not going to do it. It is about determination. Once you are a man, you are subjected to the worldly emotions. Hence, definitely, you may be attracted to some things. But you know what? If you are able to stand, God will save you. You can stop the trauma though. You can stop the weed. You can stop the cocaine. You can stop everything that is bothering you. Everything that is causing you to sin. Everything is preventable. Just say to yourself, I can do it. Indeed, you can do it. My name is very Mani the end of the day. Manapa of 2AJ team. This is the end of my message. Just say to yourself that I will not sin, and indeed, you will not sin. Thank you.